Sabrina Gonzalez Pastorsky, class of 2010, is also a recipient of the Distinguished Leadership Award. She earned her degree from MIT in three years with a perfect GPA and is now a PhD candidate in physics at Harvard Center for the Fundamental Laws of Nature. Um, Sabrina's research on black holes and space-time has been cited by the likes of Stephen Hawking when he was alive. Um, amazing. And one of the first uh, emails I received when I, was pres when I became president of IMSA was from Sabrina. Uh, and, she sent me, and I didn't know who she was. And the, only, the only thing she said is like, if, there, if you need any help, let me know. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> uh, Sabrina... Um, uh, doesn't know the, uh, doesn't know this that uh, I was recently speaking in Dubai and one of the um, uh, in, in my speech I talk about alum and one of the alum that I speak about is Sabrina as an icon of a um, uh, creative scientific ethical thinker and um, I, I always uh, mention something that she had told me and that is that uh, Dr. Fogel uh, Micah always asked her, what have you done lately? Uh, in spite of all her great achievements, the question is, what are you doing now? And so I hope that she will tell you a little bit about what she's doing now, but I just received uh, an, an email about something that she's doing, and it has to do with that it's been confirmed this week that the time capsule containing Sabrina's first book did not bounce off the moon when it struck at 2,200 miles per hour due to engine failure, as first feared on April 11th, but hit at seven degrees, burrowed, and is now in the moon. Sabrina. It's um, nice to be back. Um, I guess it's really soon to be back. Um, I can't really give advice to people who are basically my age. Um, but, but the fun thing is that coming back, you see how much IMSA has improved. You have these like new lab spaces. You have like the Innovation Center stuff. Um, and it's really great. You hope that um, it'll just keep getting better when you come back in how many years, like 10 years, it'll be like, whoa, IMSA is doing all this cool stuff now. Um, so it's very... Um, inspiring and then also you know like three years is super short so you guys are just going to be like here and done and you think it's a big deal when you're when you're here um but in hindsight it's just you'll be very grateful for the preparation that you have because each step that you take like the decisions that you make are influenced by uh, the experience that you've had before so like quantum mechanics club you know a lot of a couple of us are still in like you know we're, we're staying in physics we're going all the way with that so um just thank you guys for having me and um, to the future, and what have you done lately, I guess? <laughs>